Many of us visit beaches, lakes, or rivers during warmer months for a nice day out with the family. But every year, more and more trash ends up in our waterways and oceans. Today I'll be covering some recycling equipment aimed at keeping water cleaner for future generations to enjoy. First up, we have the Mr. Trash Wheel. It is a garbage interceptor that is deployed at the end of a river, stream, or other outfalls. The trash from the river is funneled into its open mouth. Its containment boom includes a two-foot skirt, allowing it to catch debris floating under the surface. It is powered by the sun and the river current. Its conveyor belt works slowly, but is powerful enough to remove everything that falls into the river, including tires, mattresses, and even trees. Solar panels power pumps that push water into the wheel to keep it turning when there isn't enough water current. The garbage falls into a dumpster on a separate floating barge. Next, we have the Waste Shark. It is a 72-kilogram self-propelled surface vessel designed to remove plastic garbage and undesired biomass from bodies of water. It is deployed along predefined mission paths. The robot navigates to the selected locations and returns home using GPS navigation. The LiDAR can be added to the device as an option to minimize collisions and improve data collection from the surroundings. It is capable of swimming for 8 hours and cleaning 500 kilograms of floating garbage every day. Due to its electrical propulsion, the water shark has low maintenance costs and operating downtime, while generating zero carbon emissions. Up next, we have the River Cleaning System. It consists of a series of floating devices positioned diagonally along the river course. They allow plastic waste to be intercepted and transported to the river bank in a special storage area. Depending on the size of the river, the strength of the current, and any other number of conditions, it is possible to study the most suitable dimensions to make the performance optimal. The structure of the river cleaning devices makes it possible to divert the waste that arrives, transferring it from one device to another until it reaches the storage area, positioned on the bank a few meters away. The 24-hour activity of the system allows waste to be intercepted with 100% efficiency and safety. Next, we have the Aquatic Trash Skimmer. It is made to clean floating trash out of harbors, rivers, and other waterways that have unsightly navigational hazards. This saves the waterways and makes them safe for the public. Its two catamaran hulls effortlessly gather a broad range of artificial and organic floating trash, including litter, old tires, plastic, branches, and logs. It's also been useful in small-scale oil recovery activities. The operator can clear up tight corners or vast amounts of trash using the adjustable collecting flares. Complete instrumentation and hydrostatic hydraulics allow a single operator to manage all functions of the debris skimmer without coming into close contact with the garbage.
Up next, we have the Watermaster. This equipment is an amphibious, multi-purpose dredger made for shallow waters. It restores shallow waterways and shorelines, avoids flooding, and cleans the environment. Also, it can construct and clean industrial mining ponds. One of the eye-catching features of this machine is its ability to walk. This feature eliminates the need for additional equipment to deploy in water and enables it to freely move from one water body to another. Several attachments have been designed for the Watermaster to make it able to do piling, raking, scooping, and more. If the Watermaster interests you, make sure you subscribe. We're going to be doing a documentary on it real soon. Next, we have the Cleantech Infra Trash Skimmer. It was manufactured entirely in India, and its storage capacity spans from 3 to 30 cubic meters. It can capture plastics, bottles, and other such floating trash. The gates on each side of the collecting head direct the material, which subsequently shut hydraulically to trap the material. The floating waste is moved from the collecting conveyor to the storage conveyor and then to the unloading conveyor at the beach disposal location. With these skimmers, Cleantech Infra has been able to clear water bodies of large amounts of pollution, helping prevent fatal infections and flooding. Up next, we have the Sea Bin. It works as a floating rubbish bin by sucking surface water with a pump and capturing waste in its catch bag by passing through it. It features a submersible pump that has a displacement capacity of 25,000 liters per hour. Each Sea Bin captures an estimated 4.2 kilograms per day of floating garbage. Collectively, they capture over 3.5 tons per day. With an extra filter, it can capture floating debris, macro and microplastics, and even microfibers. Also, its oil-absorbing pads can be used to absorb petroleum-based surface oils and detergents present in the water. Next, we have the Ocean Cleanup Project Interceptor 4. It is a floating system that removes all types of plastic debris from rivers and streams. It consists of a 600-meter-long floater and a 3.5 meter deep screen to prevent the escape of microplastics. After the plastic trash is caught, it is led through a barrier and taken out of the water. Using sensor data, a shuttle then uniformly distributes the material among six containers. A notification is immediately sent to the operators when the containers get full, instructing them to unload the plastic and transport it to nearby recycling facilities.
last but not least, we have the Mobile Skimmer from 4Ocean. It was designed to remove floating trash from water bodies. It is 22 feet long, with a 13-foot wingspan and two retractable arms. The conveyor belts pick up the debris from the water surface and put it into a larger superset. The retractable arms help in collecting that from the wider area. A crane unit has also been included for transferring the accumulated trash from the sack to the ground in bags. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, make sure you check out one of these two for more cool machinery. Feel free to like and subscribe, we always appreciate it. And with that, we'll see you next time.